Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So in managerial accounting, we are into marginal costing. Okay. So in marginal costing, I gave you just few introductions, theory classes in the last two episodes. Now today is third episode. So we'll be discussing about break-even analysis in depth. Okay. Stay tuned and focus your concentration so that Today you are going to understand a very good clear clarity of break-even analysis. Before going to the session, please check out the playlist. There are many subjects. By taking a lot of time, energy, I prepared these videos at the rate free of cost, especially for all the student community. Please do share. And now coming to the break-even analysis. You heard it in general life, like uh, any businessman, if they start the business, I didn't get break even. I've been doing the business for the past uh, two years. I didn't get break even. Once if I get the break even, I can take different decisions. Like people are using this break even. I didn't get break even. So waiting for the break even. I got the break even just last month or I got the break even last two years back. Like the word break even, break even people are using. What is this break even? This break-even mechanics is nothing but break-even point only. Break-even point. What is this point? Break-even point. Where a company or a business total sales are equal to total cost. My sales, total sales are say 3 lakh. Cost is also 3 lakh. My total sales are 3 lakh. And where? My cost total expenses also 3 lakh. I spent 3 lakh. I am getting sales also 3 lakh. Means there is no profit, no loss. That is the stage we say it as a break even point. Where total sales are equal to the total cost. 3 lakh, 3 lakh, both are equal. That's the break even point means at that stage we are not getting neither the profit nor the loss in other words you can say no profit no loss stage is break even stage i'm waiting for break even i've been doing business for the past two years i'm waiting for the break even once if i get the break even means this stage where my sales are meeting the cost when it is meeting then break even the next um, I'm going to get profit. Once break even is happened, then I'll get profit. So this is general usage. Understood what is a break even? Now break even we can calculate it in two ways. Two ways. Determination of break even point. BEP. Break even point. We can calculate in two ways. One is algebraic formula method and graphic or chart method. Both the ways you can calculate it anyway. First, if we see algebraic formula method, break-even analysis, simple formula is there. Break-even analysis or break-even point, we can calculate it in two ways. One is uh, when we want to get break-even point in units. This is first one. If I want break-even point in units, then this is the formula I have to use. What is the formula? Fixed cost by selling cost per unit minus variable cost per unit fixed cost by selling price per unit variable cost per unit per unit we are taking so if we use this formula you will get break even point in units say 500 units you got it answer means when i produce 500 units that is the break even point if i produce 500 units at that stage no profit no loss and above 500 whatever I produce I will be getting the profit like units wise and if you want to know in rupees that is you can use the second formula so this is break even point to know in rupees value wise same fixed cost is same fixed cost by S minus V into S S means selling price minus variable cost into sales easy to remember fixed cost by S minus V into S so if you use this formula, you will get in rupees. This is one formula and there is another formula, fixed cost by PV ratio. 
fixed cost by PV ratio. Fixed cost is common everywhere. Here we are saying S minus V into S and here PV ratio. What is PV ratio in the coming classes we will discuss. So, right now to determine break even point we have only two formulas. One is the first one is to know in units fixed cost by selling cost per unit minus variable cost per unit. To know in value fixed cost by selling price minus variable cost into selling price. Fixed cost by S minus V into S or fixed cost by PV ratio any formula. So, this is the calculation of break even point through uh, through gra uh, through calculations okay through the algebraic formula method and if you want to go for uh, graphic method that is graphic or chart method this is over now graphic or chart method through a graph how we can show the break even point here i have already drawn simple very easy to understand just focus 5 minutes to calculate the break even point what is the information we have is one is on the x axis we have taken output on x axis we have taken output in units means our production in units and on y axis we have taken cost of sales cost of sales both we can take it on the y axis only x axis output y axis cost of output cost of sales ok. Now at 0 point if we see assuming that uh, our output is in 10, 20 like that thousands or lakhs ok. In the same way this sales also but say 1 crore, 2 crores or 1 lakh like you can assume it. Now if you see fixed cost is always constant. Once we are drawing this fixed cost, fixed cost is suppose say 3.2. So, I have drawn one line, fixed cost is same, no change at all. So, always this will be horizontal, one line this is fixed cost. What is break even point where total sales are equal to total cost? Now, here you are finding first cost means nothing but variable cost only, fixed cost is always constant. Okay. Now, first from 0. If you draw one line that will be the sales, sales ok and somewhere here if you just take one uh, line you can get variable cost, sales, sales is this line and variable cost is this one, they both are meeting sales and variable cost are meeting together this point right. So, both are meeting at this point, this becomes as a break even point, where sales and variable cost both are meeting, both are same, then that is we say it as a break even point, means no profit, no loss. Now, from here if you go to x axis, means when output is 40, we are having break even, when output is 40, we are having break even means no profit no loss is a stage when I produce 40 output. If I increase the output then that would be the profit. Profit means this above this period everything is profit. This is profit area means above this above 40 whatever production expecting that everything this is profit and below 40 if I am producing anything below profit that is loss. So, this you can say it as a loss. Are you understanding? So, this is profit means you are finding out this is break even point, break even point means where 40 is the production and sales are 5 say 5 lakh ok. When sales are this much, production is this much, that is the stage we are having the break even point. If you go above this 40 production, everything is profit. If you go below 40, this is loss. A simple presentation of break even chart. Am I clear? So, this chart you remember. Now, let us discuss about a few assumptions 
or limitations of break even analysis how it is going to work out there are many limitations it is working under that assumptions or limitations the first thing is that only fixed cost and variable cost we are taking here i told you in the beginning class marginal costing marginal cost is talking about only two kinds of cost fixed cost variable cost there is no semi variable cost so this is based on the fixed cost and variable cost no other cost and variable cost constant per unit variable cost is always constant per unit no change at all and also fixed cost is also constant it will not change. means we are assuming that variable cost is not changing fixed cost is also not changing and also sell, selling price is also constant per unit variable cost fixed cost sales these three are constant no change then only this break even analysis is going to work out if any changes are there this is not going to work out that means we have to do the calculations once again but basically all these things are constant variable cost constant fixed cost constant selling price per unit is also constant and volume of production is the only factor that influences the cost what influences the cost means volume of production volume of production if my production is increasing or decreasing that is only going to change the cost volume increasing then cost will be deciding volume decreasing then will that affects on the cost so what is going to affect the cost means only the volume of production are you getting it is the only factor that influences cost and last one no changes general prices price is also not going to change no change in price will add price also here price price is also not going to change means variable cost fixed cost fc na hmm. fixed cost sales and price all these things are constant and what is going to make effect production volume of production is it remember right and also first point is that only fixed cost variable cost we have taken no semi variable so these are the assumptions of break even analysis if you see the advantages the most uh, important advantage is that every company every businessman every entrepreneur will come to know that what is break even point waiting for break even point then after that want to increase the sales they are he is going to get profit till break even point he has to struggle and here in break even uh, analysis will have a lot of strategies to calculate so you will come to know uh, through the calculations in the coming classes how we can calculate it what it is going to make the difference all these things if i explain you theory you won't understand through practicals will come to know the advantages of break even point clear easy to understand very important aspect whatever may be your course whether you are doing ca cs bcom bba mba mcom cma anything whatever may be your course break even analysis you can't escape it because it is one of the important concept important technique take a screenshot or note down by pausing the video next class we'll see the practical problems in break even analysis practical problems very easy and quite interesting also while calculating you feel very energetic remembering the formula and uh, application of the formula in the problem and how to work out these are all quite interesting stay connected check out the playlist and don't forget to share this videos good luck